I really tried my hardest to try to keep my kids stable. But because of all the obstacles that life throws at people, it's really hard to be able to pull that through. When I was younger, we would come home and nothing would be done at all. The house would be dirty. There would be no food on the table. Me and my brother ended up becoming the parents of my younger siblings. My mom's addiction was cocaine. My mom would send me to like the little convenience stores and she would tell me to buy her one of the little glass pipes that had the roses inside of it. They make them look like they're gifts, but everybody knows what they're used for. There was times where I would even tell my mom, you know, you can come and talk to me if you have to. I'll do your hair, I'll give you a bath, I'll polish your nails, we could go for a walk around the lake, we could try to do something to better ourselves. But it didn't seem like it worked. I do. We're glad to see you back. Hmm? Really glad to see you back. Oh, yeah. Are you French? Yeah. I'm like iffy about it a little bit. But they told me to go to practice and I was looking through the jerseys and I seen mine on the practice jerseys that has Goliath on it. <laughs> <laughs> we going to some college watch. Mm -hmm. Alright, it'll be good. Alright. Uh, we'll likely see you after work. Yes, Love you. You got Bobby? Yeah, I got Bobby. See you later, When I first met Robert, I think the first time I actually started having feelings for him was when I noticed that, you know, no matter what, he was coming around. I knew he was a good person. Robert was working at a dairy plant. He had gotten hurt on the job, and while he was going through physical therapy, he had got sent a letter in the mail. The company was going to be closing. You know, my kids had their own backyard. They were able to play on the trampoline. They had their friends next door. They were going to a really, really nice school. We had to let the landlord know that we were no longer gonna be able to afford living in the house. We ended up having no option but to go to the shelter. There were times where I wouldn't sleep for four days straight. As soon as they laid down, I could hear Melissa tell me, Mom, let's look at stars. And then I heard screaming. I was yelling for Melissa and she started screaming, I'm down here. She must have had her body weight pressed up against the screen or something and the screen had popped off of the window. She went flying out of the window. When she was in the hospital, human services wouldn't allow me around her at the time. They questioned the kids to ask them if they felt safe at home or if they felt there was anything that they had to worry about. I'm not a neglectful mom and I said nobody's gonna take my kids from me. Enough. 
in Denver, it's super hard to get on Section 8, period. I had my name on the waiting list six consecutive years in a row. If it wasn't for Family Tree, I wouldn't have got the voucher. I see one. So, oh, I saw one. I saw one. Oh, I saw one. So every time you say lightning strike, you go one, one thousand, two, one thousand, two, one thousand. I want my kids to know that this is their house. I want my kids to know that, you know, they don't have to wake up finding strangers living in their house and stealing things from them or breaking stuff in our property or, you know, getting us kicked out to where we're back to ground zero again. So look at the recipe. Okay, these are the instructions right here. Go up to the recipe and find out how much garlic, salt, and pepper you need to put inside of this pan to start making the, the sauce for the chicken. Yeah, God, thank you for this food that we're eating tonight. And thank you for all my kids and having happiness in our life and eating dinner together at the table. Amen. As us kids, we don't realize how hard it is for our parents to make ends meet. I want my kids to have better than I did because they should never have to stop being a kid to do what I should be doing as a parent. My kids give me a reason to have something to care about and a reason to try to fight.